Hey everyone, so today I will be reviewing Something from the Nightside by Simon R. Green. Um, a couple of stats on this book. Um, it was published in 2003 by Ace Books and it is 230 pages. Um, it's just it's a little book, like look, this is, look at my hand. It's a little one, but it's a good one. All right, so here's a summary on it. Taylor is the name. John Taylor. My card says, I'm a detective, but what I really am is an expert in finding lost things. It's part of the gift I was born with as a child of the night side. I left there a long time ago with my skin and sanity barely intact. Now I make my living in the sunlit streets of London. But business has been slow lately, so when Joanna Barrett showed up at my door, reeking of wealth, asking me to find her runaway teenage daughter, I didn't say no. Then I found out exactly where the girl had gone. The night side. That square mile of hell in the middle of the city, where it's always 3 a.m. Where you can walk beside myths and drink with monsters. Where nothing is what it seems and everything is possible. I swore I'd never return, but there's a kid in danger and a woman depending on me, so I have no choice. I'm going home. Yeah. So... This book is amazing. Like, it's so good. Like, it's just, like, one of the, like, little ones that you pick up, like, with, it looks like it belongs with, like, the, you know, the romance novel size books and well, the romance novel books or, like, the airplane, like, little books, but it's, like, great. It is so good. Um, the writing is just amazing. It's witty, smart, sarcastic, everything I aspire to be. <laughs> um... Sorry, I look disgusting. I'm sweaty. Oh well. Um, yeah, it is so good. Um, the characters were really strong. Um, even like the background characters. Um, the background characters, it was really cool because they had their own thing. Um, they weren't background characters in their lives, basically. Um, which is what you want when you're writing. So I have a sweat mustache. Um, yeah. Um, the book, actually, it kind of read like a video game. Um, I say this and people are like, oh no, video games, ew. But like, um, it's like every chapter he like met the next person or companion or helper along the way which is just like what happens in a video game so it's really cool um there are only two things i didn't like um the term night side was mentioned too often um for example um instead of saying like oh that's just what it's like here it's like yep that's just what it's like in night side um and that, that just said it, it said it too much. So what that says to me was that the world wasn't quite developed enough. Um, but it's okay. It's one of my own complaints. And I wasn't a huge fan of the ending. Um, and I don't mean like how the plot resolved. I mean like the epilogue. Okay, I mean, like, the last quarter page I didn't like. <laughs> it was just, it was really cheesy. It was like, oh, damn, why? Why do you have to do that? Um, the rest of the book was really, really good. Um, yeah, Goodreads gave it a 3.8 out of 5, and I'm giving, yeah, okay, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. I don't know why. I'm changing it. I have a notebook down here. I'm changing it to a 4 out of 5. It was really good. Um, so, highly recommend. Great for summer reading and anyone who loves dark humor and video games, like I said earlier. Um, it actually reminds me of um, Destiny, the video game, if any of you play it. I, I don't, but my boyfriend um, used to be a fanatic on it. And, yeah, so I got to watch him play video games a lot. But it reminded me of um, Destiny a little bit. Like, Kate, oh, there's a mosquito. Um, like, Cade's sharp humor. Yeah, it was funny. Um, so, 
definitely check it out. Something from the night side, Simon R. Green. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.